Hello everyone, so I'm very excited for this video because this is something that I've been working on for around 3 weeks now. So this is a dynamic programming sheet that I've made myself and DP is something that is considered very difficult in the field of DSA and a lot of people have trouble understanding and mastering dynamic programming. So I decided to make a sheet dedicated just to dynamic programming, just to DP. So I've handpicked all of these problems, I've carefully selected all of these problems, I went through all of these problems myself one by one and there's a lot of problems in dynamic programming, there's thousands of problems in dynamic programming but I've selected the 50 best. So I have right here the 50 best DP problems that would trigger a good understanding in the mind of the person who's solving them. So once you start solving these problems, you'll have a good understanding of how dynamic programming works. So at first I have a suggested pre-read for you. So this is like a prerequisite. So you can read about optimal substructures, overlapping subproblems, and tabulation and memorization. These are the concepts which are used in dynamic programming. So I highly recommend you can read about them. You can read about them on Geeks for Geeks or you can watch a lecture or watch a video on YouTube. So I've started with the 1D DP problems. So 1D dynamic programming, which would give you a basic understanding of what DP is, how does it work. So I have three easy problems and two medium problems. And of course I have the Fibonacci series which is like the standard dynamic programming problem. And in the next section, I have 2D dynamic programming and more, in which I have around 50 problems on 2D DP, DP on sequences, DP on subsequences, DP on matrices, DP on rectangles, and a lot more. Uh, so I've started with the standard problems like 0, 1, knapsack, subset sum problem, coin change problem, edit distance, and then I have more varying problems. And you can see I have problems of varying difficulty. At first, I did not even want to put the difficulty because I wanted you to go blindly into the problem, but few people suggested me, so I have put the difficulty as well. So you can see that I have varying difficulty, but the majority of problems are from medium difficulty. So you can start solving these problems. So people might ask me how many problems should they do a day. So I suggest you can do two problems a day, and some of these problems are actually very difficult. So you don't have to bring it upon yourself to solve it at the first go. It will be okay even if you don't understand the problem at the first go. So what to do if you're not able to solve the problem, right? So people ask me what to do if you're not able to solve the problem at the first shot. So this is what you do. If try to solve the problem yourself, obviously first. And if you're not able to solve it, leave it for some time. Try again, give it 30 more minutes. Still, if you're not able to solve it, then you can either go on lead code discuss forum, discuss forum or on geeks for geeks you have editorial. So you can take hints from that. Try to take hints, try to read a few lines and take hints from that and then try to solve yourself. Still, if you're not able to understand, then read the editorial. Still, if you're not able to understand, then watch a video tutorial on YouTube. A lot of people have uploaded videos of this on, of uh, tutorials of this on YouTube. You can watch that as well. So try to solve it yourself. And if you're not able to solve it, just follow the approach that I've mentioned. And like I said, some of the problems are easy. Some of the problems are medium and some of the problems are very difficult. So you, you don't have to solve all of them like at the first shot. But try to solve two problems a day and you'll be able to finish this within a month. So within a month, you'll have a good understanding of dynamic programming. You'll start seeing the pattern of how dynamic programming works in which problem you should apply DP. And you'll be able to see right ki how it's working and you'll have some confidence in dynamic programming. So how you can use this sheet, I'll give a link to the sheet in the description. You can take this sheet so you'll get this, but you, you'll not be able to edit this, right? And I have one more table for you, which you can edit yourself. So in case you're not able to solve a problem, you can just name the problem and give it remark. Like why were you not able to solve it? Did you miss some concept? Was there a trick that you did not know of? Anything like that. So you can fill this yourself. But like I said, you'll, I'll give a link in the description. You can get this uh, sheet, but you will not be able to edit this. So how you can use this is just go to file and click on make a copy, okay? And once you click on make a copy, boom, you'll have this sheet copied on your Google Doc, okay? So you'll have this on your own Google Doc and once you have this, this is something that you can edit yourself, okay? So like, let me show you, this is something that you can edit. So suppose that you were able to solve this problem, you can just make from end to five, okay? So then you can edit the sheet yourself and in case you were not able to solve a problem, suppose you were not able to solve the egg dropping puzzle or something like that, then you can just say the name and say the remark of what the thing was that you missed so that you can uh, revisit this later on. So you can get to starting these problems, you can get to solving these problems right away. Like I said, you can do two problems a day. It's okay if you're not able to do two problems a day, but have the goal of solving two problems a day. And within a month, you'll have a good understanding of how DP is working. And then you don't have to limit yourself to the sheet. 
like I've chosen the best 50, but you don't have to limit yourself to the sheet. You can complete this within a month and afterwards you can solve more problems from lead code. Like I said, lead code has around thousands of problems and various pro websites have total thousands of problems and even more. So you don't have to limit yourself, but do solve this sheet. And if you're not able to solve it, then like I said, at least try to understand from the editorial how things are working. And you can follow the same sequence that I've put, it, put this in. Like I've uh, put this in a sequence, like initially they have standard problems. Initially we have standard problems and then we have a problem on sequences and then we have like the more difficult and medium problems. Okay, so you can start solving it right away and you will have a good understanding of dynamic programming. I've also decided to make a sheet on graph theory, graph problems and tree problems. So I'll get on making that based on the like reception this video gets. So if you feel like this is helpful for you, then please let me know in the comments, give a like to the video, share it with your friends and let me know if I should make a sheet like this for graph theory and trees as well. And do subscribe to my channel. I'm planning to make more video on DSA. So thank you and all the best.